Unit 5, Travel. Pages 44 and 45, Reading Skills. Get ready with your textbook. We're going to start now. First, think. When do people need to use maps? What information can we find on maps? Mm -hmm. We use maps when we want to know the location of a place or an object. Next, exercise one. During the holidays, Jimba and his family visited an island. Below is the map showing the places he visited. Let's look at the map. What information can we find on the map? From the map, we can see there is a compass. There is also a map key to show us the symbols on the map. For example, root, paddy field, hills, coconut trees, cultural center, fishing boats, village, bridge, and tunnel. Now you can work with a friend. Take turns to be Jimba. Use the map to talk about your visit to the island. Exercise 2. Jimba wrote about his visit to the island. Arrange the paragraphs in the correct order. Use the map on page 44 to help you. Let's check the answers. We got to the island in a speedboat. At the jetty, we met some fishermen and chatted with them. We traveled north to an old fort. After visiting the fort, we went to a museum nearby. I had a great time looking at some interesting exhibits. We traveled further north and arrived at a village. Our guide took us to a restaurant to taste some local food. I love the food. Next, we travel east to a cultural center. There, we watched some traditional dances. We also visited a handicraft center and saw how ornaments were made from coconut shells. We travel south and came to a river. We took the bridge across the river and drove on until we reached Gaia Hotel. We had dinner there and then rested for the night. The next day, we continued on our journey west. We drove through a long tunnel. Later, we reached a small town where we bought some souvenirs. After that, we went to the jetty, got into the speedboat and left the island. Have you got the answers? Well done to you! Now, answer the questions. Based on the map on page 44 and what Jimba wrote, what can you conclude about 1. The main occupations of the residents of the island 2. The hobbies and interests of the visitors to the island 3. Here are the sample answers. The main occupations of the residents are probably farmers and fishermen. Interests of the visitors are to experience local culture and food. Here are some hot questions for you. The island does not have many visitors. What do you think can be done to attract more visitors to the island? You may answer like this. We can offer promotions such as discounts and vouchers to attract more visitors to the island. Or, we can use social media to promote the island. In your opinion, is it good to have more visitors to the island? Give reasons to support your answers. Here are some sample answers. Yes. I think it is good to have more visitors to the island because it can provide incomes and jobs to the residents on the island. Or you can say no. 
No, I do not think it is good to have more visitors to the island because it may cause environmental damage and pollution. So the moral value of this lesson is love nature. We have to protect the environment no matter where we go. That's the end of the lesson. Do like and subscribe to see more lessons like this. Happy learning!